Hi, my name is Babs Khan. I'm one of the biology teachers here at Callieworth College and I thought I would answer some of the questions that I frequently get asked at open evenings. So the first question that most parents and students ask is what are the entry requirements for A-level biology? So basically you need two GCSEs, either combined GCSEs, grade 6 or above, or two GCSEs in science which are obviously GCSE Biology and another science. In addition to that, you need a grade five in maths and a grade six in English, either language, most commonly language, but sometimes English literature is okay. So the next question that uh, we get asked quite a lot is, what is the course like? What's the course content? So the course is split over two years worth of teaching. In the first year it builds on your GCSE knowledge and there are four key topics. And again, like I said, they build on that GCSE knowledge. So um, the first topic is biological molecules. We then go on to look at cell structure and cell organisation. And for every topic it builds on your GCSE understanding and just takes it up to the next level. Uh, so the next topic is how organisms exchange substances with the, their environment and then the final topic in the first year is genetic information and variation. So at the end of the first year students sit a progression test and then they move on to the second year. In the second year uh, the topics again build on the first year knowledge and they get more and more detailed and uh, obviously I'm a biologist, so I think it gets more and more interesting as you go through the course. So um, our second year topics uh, include energy transfers within and between uh, the ecosystems, uh, genetics, uh, populations, evolution and ecosystems, how the organisms respond to their environment and the control of gene expression. So throughout the course, uh, students carry out practical work and they would carry out their practical work in this biology lab. Um, practical work is there to enhance students' understanding of the key concepts and also there are, throughout the two-year programme of study, uh, 12 required practicals. Now, those 12 required practicals build up what's called the practical endorsement and students carry out a series of practicals which they do some of the write up in their lab books and that's used to award them that practical qualification at the end of the course. Uh, in terms of um, how the course is assessed, so throughout the year uh, we have topic tests at regular intervals, uh, usually at three week intervals and these help students practice and develop the skills they need to complete the exams that take place in the second year. And uh, those exams generally start in June. There are three two-hour papers. The first paper covers um, the content that we covered in the first year. The second paper covers the content in the second year and the third paper is synoptic. It covers both first and second year content. So, uh, what else is commonly asked? Um, what textbooks do we have available to students? Well, we have um, a physical textbook which students sign out from the Learning Resource Centre and they can use that at home. And uh, that textbook is um, a CGP textbook. So it's this textbook. Uh, they also have a second year version of this textbook. And this textbook gives them some more information, some more um, questions that they can answer in their independent study time. So in terms of teaching and learning, students spend four and a half hours per week in formal lectures. Uh, they also have a designated study period that is timetabled which takes place in one of the learning resource centres in the college. In addition to that we have the expectation that students will complete an additional four and a half hours of independent study. So 
any A level course is demanding, biology is demanding because you have to have good use of um, biological terms, you have to have a good scientific understanding of the scientific method, you need to incorporate math skills into that, and also you need to have good command of um, written language so that you can access and be successful in the exam style questions that are part of the course's assessment. Um, so homework, homework is um, some, part of it is students elect to choose a form of homework that will enhance their way of learning the material. Uh, in addition to that, we have weekly homework booklets where students are set exam questions as a formal part of their homework. Uh, part of that will be marked by the teachers and part of that is um, self-marked by students where they're given the mark schemes so that they can familiarise themselves and understand what it is the examiners are looking for so that it doesn't come as a big shock at, towards the end of the course, oh this is what you need to do to be successful. It's kind of built into the course all the way through the course. Um, in terms of what do students that have studied A-level biology progress to, well there's a whole range of different things. Uh, so some students go into healthcare professionalisms or uh, healthcare based degrees, so we have students that um, have studied A-level biology and gone on to study uh, medicine, veterinary science, dentistry, physiotherapy, radiography, paramedicine, various forms of nursing. So um, we have all of those medical based degrees. We have some students that go on to study pure biology based degrees. Um, and there is a whole host of different uh, degrees available, some doing uh, microbiology as their key discipline, some of them going on to study uh, biological sciences, marine sciences, biomedical sciences, and then we have some students that um, don't go on to a university course based on biology, but you know, having a strong science helps with their course, such as uh, psychology, uh, we have some students that have gone on to study architecture. So a key thing about studying A-level biology is it gives you a very broad remit as to what you want to progress on to when you finish the degree course. Some students have gone on to study apprenticeships. So, like I said, wide range of different progressions after having completed an A-level biology course. If you've got any more questions, then you can contact the college directly and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Cheers. Bye now.